Hi, I'm Michael Owen, and this is my England dream team. In goal is going to be David Seaman. He was in goal for the majority of my England career. Very safe pair of hands. A real solid, dependable, reliable goalkeeper. Had some great days with England. He gets my number one vote. My right back is going to be Gary Neville. Um, fantastic club career, but fantastic England career as well. You know, he was fit, he used to bomb down that wing. You know, he could defend, he was really tough, quick and strong and had a real good mentality as well. So, you know, for longevity, for quality, Gary Neville's the right back. My right centre back is going to be Rio Ferdinand. Uh, world class, simple, simple as. Um, he was a Rolls Royce of a player, big, strong, quick, brilliant with his feet, great on the ball. Rio Ferdinand straight in there at centre half. Okay, left centre back is a little bit trickier. I'm going to go with Tony Adams. He played in the 1998 World Cup team with me in France. Commanding, great captain. And for all his you know, strengths off the pitch as well as on, you know, you always need one of those type of leaders on the pitch. My left back is going to be Ashley Cole. I don't think there's any question that at, for a certain point in time, certainly in the European Championships in Portugal, that Ashley Cole was the best left back in the world. He hit the 100 caps, you know, top quality player, and really is a modern fullback that likes to get forward, but a really good defender as well. My right midfielder is going to be David Beckham. Um, fantastic work rate, had a wand of a right foot, set pieces were brilliant. And the main thing is he created many, many of my goals. So, as I say, he just hit the ball on a sixpence. You just had to get in the box and he would find you. Scored some really important goals as well for England over the years. Captain. He's got to be in there. So the first centre midfield player that I'm going to put in is Steven Gerrard, my old teammate for Liverpool. Um, I don't think this country has seen many better players over the years. You know, he'd had absolutely everything. Size, power, pace, strength, could score, could tackle, could pass. He was just the total all-round midfield player. OK, so our next centre midfield player has got to be Paul Scholes. Scholes, he was a genius, absolute genius. You know, he was a centre forward's dream. You make a run and you put the ball perfectly in your path. He liked to tackle, he wasn't the, he wasn't the best at time in his tackles, but he was a tough player. And any footballer you ask will always say Scholes he was, was one of the best players that they have ever played with. So Paul Scholes is going to join Steven Gerrard in the centre midfield. A left midfield is not a conventional midfield player because I've got to fit myself into this team, haven't I? So I'm going to put Wayne Rooney on the left. He has done it before, Manchester United and England. Great lad, great player, scores goals, you know, in the big competitions. He has to go in, in any England 11, really. As I say, he's going to break all the records and, you know, fully deserves it too. He's been a, he's been a you know, a credit to, to himself, his club and, and his country. And great that he's got the captaincy now as well. So the first centre forward is going to be Alan Shearer. He was one of the, the best players in the world, best strikers, had a great Euro 96 and then continued it as well. You know, his goal scoring in the Premier League is, is, is amazing, but um, for England as well, he got his, his fair share and he's, uh, he's certainly going in there as a, as a centre forward, one of the first names on the team sheet. And the final piece of the jigsaw has got to be myself, isn't it? I've got to find room for myself. Uh, unbelievable player. No, I, uh, I had a fantastic career with England, love every minute, every game that I played and rounding my career off, scoring 40 goals was, was um, really a proud moment in many ways and I'd love to have played for England longer but it will never um, gloss over what a fantastic England career I had and enjoyed every minute of it so I'm sneaking in there alongside Alan Shearer. And I think it would have been quite a, an attacking team that I've, I've selected there. It would certainly have, have competed well on the, on the international stage in a, in a World Cup, um, maybe. Plenty of goals, I would say. We've got a good goalkeeper, strong back four, but as I say, in front of that is plenty of attacking talent, so I would have thought every game would be 4-3 to England. <laughs>